course, we have multiple sources of lenders to shop because every bank has their own set of rules and their own set of policies. So if you're insured, so which again, less than 20% down, there's also three insurance companies. There's the Canadian Mortgage and Housing Corporation, which all of us as taxpayers, we own a piece of. And then there's two other private insurance companies, which is called Genworth Insurance and Canada Guarantee Insurance. They do exactly the same thing as Canadian Mortgage and Housing Corporation, except for they are private insurers. Now they do have different sets of rules and policies to, relating to self-employed, relating to, um, especially self-employed, I'd say the number one aspect of it. So they have a different documentation. So we're able to send it to each, depending on which lender you work with. They do some work with those insurers, so they're able to get where we get deals financed if you're less than 20% down, depending on what insurer we use. Now, the interest rates, of course, I talked about are the lowest in history. We've seen, um, we thought last year there was going to be when the course of rate war came out. And of course, Flaherty, as you can see in the papers, telling the banks not to stop having rate war. There's a rate war on. <laughs> okay? It's, Flaherty's starting to say that. I'm telling you right there, there's, no, there's a rate war. And it's happening right now. So for you, the consumer, this is the best opportunity you can ever have. Um, and then, you know, I've been doing this 21 years. It's phenomenal where the interest rates are at right now. So 5% down, you can still buy. Um, you can still use your RRSPs too if you want to be, if you're a first time home buyer or have not owned your principal residence in the last five years, you're able to draw up to 25,000 out of your RRSPs tax free. You have to pay that back over a 15 year period. So you have that flexibility, that's still in effect. And in addition to that, you were able to use gifted down payments, so which is we're seeing a lot of people do, especially first time home buyers, as uh, the, our parents are aging, uh, they seem to have some extra cash available, and if you're nice to them, they'll loan it to you, <laughs> or gift it to you as a down payment, so you have that flexibility. So those programs are all still in effect. So there's still lots of people for first time home buyers to still get in this marketplace, and especially right now, as I've said with a lot of the clients we're working with, is you're able to, at 2.89, 2.79% interest rates, even if you went straight to monthly payments, 50% of your every payment you pay is going directly towards principal, right off the bat. That hasn't happened before. <laughs> you know, this is, you're paying down more principal and getting more equity at home than you ever had in the history of, of mortgages. So it's a really an important feature of that. Um, again, just to show you, we were showing again about a, in 2007 with a 40 year end. This is the last time the interest rates were sort of above in that 5% range. And if we had a 40 year end, you'd be paying 18.31 a month. And of course, we did this uh, about a month ago, it was 3.29, and of course, it's dropped even since then. But your payment on 350, the same money over 25 years, is 1700. So the illusion that the longer amortizations you know, have made it less affordable in Vancouver is not necessarily so. You know, because the interest rates have gotten so low, the affordability factor is still there. One thing I will also mention too, is if you're not a first time home buyer, um, or see, even if you're a first time home buyer, you have less, if you have more than 20% of the purchase price down, lenders are doing still 30 and 35 year amortizations. So those are still available to you, so long as you have 20% of the purchase price.